She told you not to do anything. That's antagonising. Still, they drove into us. Oh, you mean there's, there's bodies and everything in here? <clears throat> or where would they go if they're strapped in and underwater? And nobody's ever been here before. Mm. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? <laughs> on the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. I'm glad they found it for me. <clears throat> Think about that one then. I wasn't ready for a quick time event. Careful. <clears throat> Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first. <laughs> so would that have like caught oxi her oxygen tank or something though? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a miracle come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Apparently it's uh, graphically intense down here. My my computer fans have just kicked up like a jet. Oh, what's Check this? <clears throat> they reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Oh. One of the rescue boats is missing. Secret fan. Oh, okay. What the Christ? Using it? Let's see what else we can find. Oh, we already clicked on that. I'm gonna start swimming side to side so we can see if there's any pop ups. Good God. <sighs> you spin me right round, baby, right oh. round. Hey, Becca. He's holding something. A tiny little picture. Okay. Is she going to take that with her? Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. How was the dog walk? Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Hey, what? I, I can't hear anything. <clears throat> Boom. <laughs> Bearings updated. You got a gun? Stumbled on him. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. I think I wet my wetsuit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Would that just have attached itself to my face if I missed that then? Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Why did you take a photo of that? That's grim. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't probably be moving that, right? Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! I mean, I could have let go of the button and not kept moving it, but it gave me the prompt, so what am I gonna do? Hey, I want to go back in there. Shit soon named Poppy and a couple of bigger dogs. They seem to really enjoy it. Oh, that's always good. Yeah, I'm not going to touch the controls again. The plane's going to fall off a cliff or something. We've already checked that body. We've 
already seen that. Oh, what was that? It is a bullet. Bullet hole. All down the fuselage. Anti-aircraft shell. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. I mean, you could probably take a bullet back up with you, right? That's not going to cause too many problems. What's that? Oh, I wouldn't be going in there. That's very narrow. Julia, leave it. You She's have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? You did. Hmm. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. She best not die from this. I'm just curious. I want to know what it was. Nope, get out. Get out. Definitely get out. It's a squid. <laughs> That's an octopus, right? Aren't squids more pointed? I, I would have died in that moment. I mean, I'd already be dead by this point because I can't swim, but... Get out! Rebreather. What are you done? Thank you. You're a funny looking squid. <laughs> you do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? Yeah, she's defiant. Doing, she's okay. feisty. I don't need a lifeguard. I'm saying all this stuff about them, and it's probably going to be completely different next time. At least I know what squid looks like, you muppet. Do you? Do you really? They were on their way to help out a ship. Oh. What's happening here, then? Gotta get out of here now. Ooh, shark. I need to shark. have my hands on keyboards. Oh, there's a shark? Yeah, come at me, shark! Don't say that, you mad woman. Shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. I do have a wife. Uh, wow. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time. Well, oh, that was Cal Thalas's last comment. Didn't know if it was the right time. He's abruptly been murdered by his wife, right who sat time. less than a meter from him. <laughs> oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but. <laughs> uh huh. Julia. Oh dear. Will you marry me? A standard. Yeah, let's go standard. Yeah, we're not suspicious. I. I. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I mean, I, I just, I mean, we almost just died. Julia, Dude. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, no, loving, absolutely. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. <laughs> oh, <Becca. Isn't> <laughs> Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> now, don't you pay start arguing on my stream again. I had this last time with Unchained. You get on with our or Chained Together, even. Unchained? Julia accepted Alex's proposal We're achievement unlocked. Hey, Looks like they know nothing of what's happening up top. <laughs> Wait, I swear Julia, to God, Becca. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. My brother's up there. <sighs> mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <sighs> it was the wrong choice, but... 
now she's panicked. She's okay, going. I'm going. This is probably going to affect her badly. <clears throat> but they're not that deep. Would the effects be that bad? Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Oh, <clears throat> and Reese is here as well now. <clears throat> oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? How Thallus is Raven's other half. Teacot is Pete. Why are you paying the ocean? So, why are you <clears> paying <throat> the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. He's an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, a bullet. We found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, crap. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. No, you're not being the captain that I'm betraying you as now. Stop being nice. You're a hard ass. <laughs> oh, hi. What are you laughing at? <laughs> what did I do? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Mm hmm. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might a douche. say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Yeah, arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat <laughs> immune to Conrad's charms, oh, dear. so far at least. Let me reassure you. Special you feature or make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. He's saying I've made wrong decisions already. No surprise. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? You don't want to know. Lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man. She not open her eyes. Wasn't Conrad <clears throat> going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. I need to stop, like, sitting, stroking my beard. So. There could be quick time events how around the corner. be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? You tell him, Reese. It does have a nice ring Honestly, to it. She's enjoying it. Sure She's loved it. it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Dad can fought the belt. Mm. Now she wants to plan it together. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. No, no, reassuring. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm it's purple. Purple. Yes? Purple. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore Chuck. She being children, but... Uh, she's playful. <clears throat> like a rug so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, Please. no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. What did you get distracted by? You were stood by the table where a fake air Which quotes is, ideas. Uh, you know, where the magic happens. He's such a slime ball.
Apologies for my brother. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. <laughs> Conrad, just beers. beat Where Conrad down. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Now, stop. Hands on keyboard and mouse. If you guys in chat done arguing right. like children, yeah. Now that everybody's <clears throat> here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What can we have so, a look at? How's it feel to be a man post proposal? Relieving, honestly. This is an A and B comp. <laughs> You've used that one before, Cal. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. Just not that memorable. I have to yeah, you have. I will go back through my streams and find it. It will take me a while, but... I mean, we've already found this bullet once. Why have we got to look at it again? This is so awesome. Oh, for a hundred pound, I might sit and watch all of my own streams. One, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. <laughs> Oh dear. So, we're going again tomorrow? Oh. Uh, yeah. Seems a little too dangerous for my Oh, he's going to die. <laughs> right here. I need to keep holding mass button. Don't, don't. Well, there, sailor. Don't give um, Brad one. Excuse me. Careful. <clears throat> if you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah. It's uh when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen Rude. bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, <laughs> I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Now, let's be cautious, because I did get her to go up too quickly. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. If I'd have not right, gone up quickly, then we'd have had a beer. Up. Manchurian gold. What was that that just went across the screen then? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot Go down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten <laughs> shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Hmm. Julia tries to keep the peace, I think. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. You did nearly, like, okay. destroy Maybe. the plane by moving the I don't know handle. You. you should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? They're all taking the make. Yeah, Don't take the make I heard out. a story. She's your captain. It happened right around here, too. <clears throat> Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. <sighs> Support him. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. It's gonna upset flesh, right? Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. 
This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. Hands are not on keyboard and mouse. Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> Shut up, Conrad. Shush. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now twist of course the lighthouse keeper says that isn't so of course he's lived there alone for years and the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs so they go to the top of the lighthouse and there splay down on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe always an axe Escalate too quickly i mean do people even use axes anymore i'm just reporting the facts cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe Mm. So gross. Okay, wow. so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door. And, sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Oh, no. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! <laughs> yeah, ah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. Nice one, Squire. Squire? <clears throat> you have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> Seems like it. This website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. You say, Brad, don't you have any? It went badly enough with the one that you had already. <clears throat> right, this is an actual cutscene. Surely I can just lean on my arm for a minute. Famous last words. Excuse me. Going back on mass. <clears throat> the Grim Reapers here. Oh, righty then. <laughs> that was quite a well timed, Reese. <laughs> Complete thank you to ease in succession. Go me. Left mass. Quit. We did the QTs and he still wins. Mm, don't do it. That's the uh, air quote fisherman from earlier, isn't it? Yeah. I guess you don't say I I to him, you just say I. 
again, it's rubbish. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's go with her. She's she's the captain. <clears throat> That joke 101. I, I know, I know. Ah. And then we just leave him gagged. We don't want you talking. Now we'll talk to the captain. How oh, you just had to piss them off, didn't you? Indignant? Mm, I don't think he'd be sorry. I want him to be the arrogant. How was I supposed to know they have no sense of humor? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the one that I was going for. Sarcastic all the way. I don't care if Fliss don't like him. <clears throat> hey. No, hey. you leave Fliss alone. It was a waste of ungagging her, wasn't it? How's she almost free? What? 